Andrea from asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. If you just come across this channel, this channel is all about education, about asexuality. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. In today's discussion, I want to talk to you about what is a cuprio romantic. So you might come across cuprio romantic on asexual dating sites and groups or general conversation. And you might think, what on earth's that? So a cuprio romantic is someone who's aromantic, who desires a romantic relationship, despite the fact they're not romantic themselves. I've known someone who's cuprio romantic. I don't really keep in touch with that person anymore, but I know someone who was like that. And yeah, they, they wanted still the romance, but it was it's really hard because I don't uh, know that many QPO romantics. I've only known one personally, but I, I've known of other people mention it too. So um, now you know, if you see someone on an asexual dating site, you'd probably need to discuss it because if they're aromantic, you know, they won't be used to the notion of romance in terms of how they behave romantically as such but they might still be romantic anyway I find that with aromantics when I talk to some aromantics for example guys they will do things that to me I consider as a romantic romantic but they won't think anything of it so for example if they go out for a meal uh with a person I would think that's romantic but they'll just think, well, we're just eating food together. If they buy a present for someone or they make a present for someone, they'll just think I'm being kind and friendly. Whereas I would think that's a romantic gesture. So aromantics can still be romantic without realising it, in my experience, because they don't view it as romance. Whereas I do view some of what they do romantic, some of the aromantics I've known. So there you go. I think aromantics are capable of romantic um, gestures. I think they're capable of romantic behaviour, but in their mindset, they're not romantic. So, you know, they're aromantic still. So if you do date someone who's an aromantic, you would need to talk to them and find out what they're comfortable with. Because even though they do desire a romantic relationship, they might still not want the kissing. And a, a romantic person might still want the kissing. So do you see what I mean? They, but they might be willing to do other stuff like candlelit dinners, walks on the beach, that type of thing. So you'd have to obviously discuss it with them. Anyway, do you know a QPO romantic? Have you had any experience of dating a QPO romantic? Have you got any best friends or anyone that you know? If you do, please post the comments below. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next video. Embrace your quirky and each other's. Bye-bye.